Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will calculate the airflow through an all-electric system. To start with, remove your outer cover, turn your thermostat to emergency heat, and allow it to run for at least five minutes. Do not turn it to regular heat, because with the cover removed, air can bypass the coil, creating a head pressure that is far too high. Once the unit has been running for five minutes, take your amp clamp, Identify how many heating circuits you have. In this example, we have two. You have the upper one and the lower one. Now, I'm just going to measure the, if you'll notice, the, you have two black, red wires on one side, two black wires on the other side. I'm just going to measure the black wires. So, in this example, I'm going to pretend like I got, let's say, 18. On my other one, I, receive, I have 20. So, I have a, a total of 30 amps. Now we could have six heating circuits here. All you do is look at on, follow one side all the way down. So in this one there's the top side, there's the bottom side, but there could also be one here, one here, one here. So we have 38 amps. Next, set your tester to voltage. Check your incoming voltage. Now of course we just follow the two wires coming in here um, with it set on volts, put one on each lead. I'm going to pretend like this was 240 volts. Next, we take our temperature probe. You sample the return air. In this example, I'm going to pretend like it's 70 degrees. Of course, your ductwork will be here. You need to have a small hole in your ductwork, uh, preferably two to three feet above the heating, heating strips. Um, take a sample of that. In this example I'm going to pretend like it was 120 degrees. So we've got all of our measurements. Uh, next we're going to actually perform the math on that. So performing these calculations we subtract the return from the supply air. So that was 120 minus 70 leaves us 50. Now this is the difference between the supply and the return air temps. Multiply this number by 1.08, which gives us 54, and that becomes our divisor. So our divisor is 54. Next, we multiply volts, which were 240, times amps, which were 38, times 3.412. Divide this by the divisor. So we're going to divide this by 54. Now we perform all the calculations on top first. So we do all this, we get 31,000. 117. Dividing this by 54 will give us 576. So in this example, our CFMs will be 576. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Please stay tuned for a very informative introduction to the super cool slide rule. Thank you. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. 
The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.